Hola, this is Rai Rai with my travel buddy, Alan. Join us as we continue our adventure here in Plaza España in Seville, Spain. Don't forget to subscribe! The Plaza de España, or Spain Square, is a plaza in the Maria Luisa Park in Seville, Spain. It was built in 1928 for the Ibero-American Exposition of 1929. It is a landmark example of regionalism architecture, mixing elements of the Baroque Revival, Renaissance Revival, and Morris Revival styles of Spanish architecture. This overwhelming Plaza de España is the most famous square in Seville. Designed by architect Anibal Gonzalez with a diameter of 200 meters. This is one of my biggest trouble back in this. The Plaza de España. There's Alan and I'm Rai Rai. And look at them back here. The whole wall are like this. Oh, that's funny. I forgot the name of the city. Probably too much excitement. <laughs> One of the most liked attractions here in Plaza España are the 52 benches and mosaic of tiles located at the foot of the building on the Spanish Square. These 52 frescoes depict all 52 Spanish provinces. The tiles are typical of Andalusia, the so-called Azulejos. Spanish tourists visiting Seville are too happy to post in their own province, but for us, we plan to post only to those provinces that we already visited. Other fixtures of the square are the large fountain in the middle and the round canal with the many cute bridges. You can even rent a boat and sail through the canals. Now we're here in the main lobby of the central building of Plaza España. There is an ongoing dance performance. This is the famous flamenco dance. gathered to watch this show, which they call the Flamenco de la Calle. Flamenco is a Spanish art form made up of three parts. Guitar playing, guitarra, song, cante, and dance, baile. Flamenco originated in the southern regions of Spain, but it's thought to be influenced by many world cultures, including Latin American, Cuban, and Jewish traditions. Originally, flamenco dancing was not set to music. It was only singing and clapping of hands called toque de palmas. Some flamenco dancing still follows Asian tradition. But the use of guitars and other musical instruments has become more popular in modern flamenco.
will go around collecting donations. And it is only voluntary. I wonder if they are only being paid by means of donations. dancing can have many different purposes whether the dance is intended to be entertaining romantic or comforting flamenco is a very emotional style of dance Dancers try to express their deepest emotions by using body movements and facial expressions. As the dancers perform, they may also clap their hands or kick their feet. Many dancers also snap small percussion handheld instruments called castanets. is in form of song, dance, and instrumental music, which is mostly guitar, commonly associated with the Andalusian Roma. The Roma people are called Gutanos, gypsies of southern Spain. The roots of flamenco, though somewhat mysterious, seem to lie in the Roma migration from Rajasthan in northern India to Spain between the 9th and 14th centuries. These migrants brought with them musical instruments such as tambourines, bells, and wooden castanets and an extensive repertoire of songs and dances. In Spain, they encountered the rich cultures of the Sephardic Jews and the Moors. Their centuries-long cultural intermingling produced the unique art form known as flamenco. UNESCO recently recognized as part of the world's intangible cultural heritage is a complex art form incorporating poetry, singing, guitar playing, dance, polyrhythmic hand clapping, and finger snapping. It often features the call and response known as haleo, a form of hell racing, involving hand clapping, foot stamping, and audiences encouraging shouts. Nobody really knows where the term flamenco originated, but all agree that the art form began in southern Spain, Andalusia, and Murcia, but was also shaped by musicians and performers in the Caribbean, Latin America, and Europe. Moreover, from the mid-19th century, Flamenco entertainment spread quickly from southern Spain to the capital Madrid and onward to other Spanish urban centers. Flourishing there as a consequence of the rise of mass urban culture and increased foreign tourism. The main dance
dancer whom I used to watch only on YouTube videos is now besides me having our picture taken. Isn't that exciting? swings around the plaza in a large semicircle. At its center stands the spectacular fountain created by Vicente Traver. Elegantly curving over the moat are four bridges. It's relating to the ancient Spanish kingdoms of Castile, Navarre, Aragon, and Leon. Their supports also boost brightly colored painted ceramic tiles which add an extra exquisiteness to the architecture. Surrounding the building are 48 small pavilions. It's dedicated to a province of Spain and decorated in intricately illustrated ceramic tiles or azulejos. These were used to showcase the city's industrial and craft capabilities. Today, some of the pavilions are dedicated to museums, such as the Archaeological Museum and Museo de Artes y Costumbres Populares. The plaza has been used over the decades as a location for filming several movies, such as Star Wars, Lawrence of Arabia, and the more recently for the latest Sasha Baron Cohen film. Espana, we went back to Palacio San Telmo to have our pictures taken before we go back to our hotel, which is the El Rey Moro Boutique Hotel. Okay, so here we are in our hotel. This is El Rey Moro, and we are on Casa number 14. So, this is El Rey Moro Hotel Boutique. It is located in Historical Center, a neighborhood in Seville, and is in the city center and near the airport. As you can see, this is our room. It is not the typical hotel room setup. You will notice that there are antique furnitures, but it is very nice and very neat. about this hotel is that you can get in and get out of the hotel without passing on the lobby there is a secret door at the back that is only accessible by customers so there you go folks if you want to experience a unique hotel room with traditional ambient, this is highly recommended. The El Rey Moro Hotel Boutique in Seville, Spain. From the hotel, we went out for dinner. So we have the salad and this is highly recommended. The seafood pizza. Try it. It's yummy delicious. So after dinner, we walk around the city. And of course, Alan found his favorite street food, the castañas or chestnuts. And for me, my favorite is gelato. So we go to the gelato store. See all those flavors? Mm. Which one will I choose? A 
Okay, finally, I've decided to get mango and strawberry flavor for the night. But there are a lot of yummy flavors. See that? So if you happen to visit Seville, go to Amorinium for your gelato. And Alan, of course, decided to have the coffee and the pistachio flavor. I wonder how it tastes. So there it is. We got our gelato. And this will end our video. We will continue exploring more of this city in our next video. So stay tuned on this channel. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, leave a comment, and of course, subscribe. Also, please click on that notification bell for more updated videos. Bye-bye! Adios!